Hello, we're back. My pause screen still says, oh, right. Yeah, it says next game. Good point, I'll have to update that one. Um, I updated the, the drawing, but I forgot to update the animation because that's slightly more involved. <laughs> oh. All right. Um, but in good news, I have something to drink and it's cooling down outside and so I've opened a few more windows and now it's blowing through the apartment so that should hopefully keep me from uh, melting too much of course the problem with uh, changing the pause screen to say what the current and what the next game is is I will have to have a peek at uh, what game I'm going to play after this. Ah. Decisions, decisions. Or I guess I could just set it up so it's a fixed game and it doesn't hint at the next game or something. I'll think of something, I guess. All right. Until I understand this. I have to go into hiding. I should make my way to the docks. If an Asgardian goes to the docks, does that make him the Dock Thor? Curtis, Custis Morgan and the Postulate Child. Oops. Okay, I just ripped that painting out of its frame, apparently. I'm the kind of person that does that. Okay. I think it converted into coins, didn't it? So the assumption is, I guess, she's selling that somewhere. Interesting, though. Someone... seems to have... Uh, Stolen stuff in here already. The Tower of Dunwall. Oh, that's where we just come out. Came out. Except on a historical examination of Dunwall Tower. For over a century, Dunwall Tower has been the capital of the Isle of Crystal and the seat of power across all the isles of the Empire. Can you can you stop moving these these texts? It's irritating. Rulers have come and gone, each adding something to the structure. Gardens, observatories, new walls, pools, and specialized interior chambers to suit their needs and whims. Dunwall Tower hath withstood numerous wars, several large-scale fires, and the collapse and rebuilding of the Northern Wing. With Tivia and Sir Konos joining the Empire first, it was Morley, that resisted longest. Some of the conflicts that arise also necessitate the further fortification of the tower. Repeated assassination attempts near the end of the conflict with Morley resulted in the creation of the royal protector position, with each ruler choosing his or her own royal protector after careful consideration. All right. That was a bit of an abrupt switch, you know? Like, okay, it was a fortification, and also, you know, people updated it to their living towers, and as people with disposable money do, um, you know, they looked into it some... Uh, they, they made substantial changes sometimes. Um, and then suddenly it goes into the politics. So Morley was the island in the upper right where the sister lives and where the girlfriend of a uh, girl boyfriend of Emily lives. Um and uh, yeah. With Tivia and Circonus joining the Empire first, so basically 
all these countries were separate and due to wars it all became one large empire all right except from a book on the late empress perhaps in retrospect other historians will see how easy it was for us to fall into the trap set by the schemers who managed the assassination of empress jessamine caldwin by allowing them to write history, it was for years thought that her trusted protector Corvo Atano was also her murderer, a concept we now know to be utterly false. Yet even after the tricksters themselves were put down, banished, or imprisoned, it remained common knowledge that the real protector was also Jessamine's murderer. The royal protector was also Jessamine's murderer. How nicely they arranged history for us, and how readily we devoured their stories, hungry for each perfectly cooked morsel. But it is well past time for us to set aside this plate of lies. The schemers were not to be trusted with the Empire or with Jessamine's life, and they are certainly not to be trusted with the writing down of accurate histories. <laughs> it's kind of interesting that the historian... I'm assuming that it's the same historian. It's always kind of the same style of a writer who kind of got it wrong at the start and now is kind of, you know, backpedaling and saying, well, we were all tricked, um, things like that. Um, or you write, next game, this space for rent. Uh, but then someone would take me up on that offer. I'm not sure if I wanted that. I mean, on the other hand, if they give me a good game, I mean, I would be open, you know. Um, <laughs> it's just it would have to fit my definition of a game I want to play and not someone else's. Um, yeah, but it feels like this historian is now frantically trying to kind of clean their own name. Um, and going like, no, 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 I'm going to write accurate history now. Nobody for me has done that. I don't know. It, it's a little more, a little less uh, personal style, I guess. So it could be someone else and it could just be a general sentiment among historians in a situation where, you know, history had been manipulated and then the truth came out. I forgot to check how much money I got. Let's see in the playback. Yes. Oh, it just says how many coins I got. It doesn't give me a total. Damn it. There's a toilet. Yes, close it. <laughs> It's interesting that that's an old style toilet. Okay, nobody out there. I've got to get out of Dunwall. interesting the lights they have here it's it's an interesting mix between modern and old you know oil oh this looks I gotta leave it to them like you can a little bit you can see how old the game is I mean, it's not that old, but it's a few years old, at least. Um, actually, I don't know what year it's from. Um, I should check that. I just remember I've already had it a couple of years, but the death of the outsider... Uh, the expansion, of course, came up out a little later. So, it's not that old, you know, but by now... Oh, 
Although, who knows? It could be. Could be five years already. I've got to get away. I should talk to the captain of that ship. I guess that's the ship we want to get to. Can we. What was it? This? Can we read what the ship is called? No, we can't. I like this. They actually, like, check what area I'm looking at. And then, I don't think it's a proper depth of field um, in rendering. I think it's just picking certain models that are nearby and um, removing the blur from them. But, you know, it's a pretty clever approach. <gasps> Did I just... You know what? Let's go back. I don't want to shoot here. This is where we came out. I don't want to randomly have shot in the area. It's bad controls. Ramsey right. deserves my attention. Oh no. Okay, then I guess we'll go back there. Do that again. Damn it. Oh, wait, maybe we can go back. Here to the autosave? That looks more like it was where we were. Yeah. That's where I wanted to go to. Did we pick up anything here? No. Oh, we didn't read that history book. The Whaling Trade. In 1631, Emperor Finlay Morgengard commissioned the first fleet of vessels made expressly for the hunting and proce processing of whales. They were powered by sails alone and so were at the mercy of the winds. Although these whaling ships were small by current standards, Morgengard's fleet established the robust whaling trade we still enjoy today. Modern whaling vessels are much larger and use steam power to traverse the seas in search of whales. Did you know that every part of the beast is used? In addition to canned meat and whale oil, there is also a flourishing whalebone trade. Baleen is used in roofing. Whale skins are processed into crude cloth. Bladders are made into wine flasks. Even the in intestines intestines, sorry, even the intestines are carefully harvested for their precious ambergris, used in many medicines and perfumes. Handwritten note at the end of the chapter. Emily, half of Morgengard's whalers fell to the rough coast east of Morley. You can still see the remains of ships poking out of the water should you ever visit Iran. Also, there's no mention here that it was Sokolov himself who designed the first steam-powered whaling ships. He'll tell you all about it if you ask, and he's sober. <laughs> okay, so I guess Sokolov is a friend, which is a good indication that the postulate child... I don't see a postulate child, whatever that is, but hey. Okay, we've read all these books. Can I somehow... I can't switch weapons, I guess.
Whoops, okay. That charges up an attack. That's good to know. Alright. So it says you can f survive falls from a moderate height. So this looks worse than than this. Yep. New mission clue. Megan Foster's ship is just off the docks and represents your best hope for escape. That's that one. She didn't say anything this time. Pratchett Warehouse. Terry, what's your business here? That flag looks a bit weirdly crumbled. Why would this part be straight and this not? <laughs> um, physics engine, physics engine, please. Physics engine to aisle three. You know, the fun thing about this map is all of the stuff over there doesn't have to be real buildings. Could just be, you know, like cardboard cutouts basically in two or three rows. Like that back row definitely looks like a cardboard cutout that they just put in the back to make it look more distant. The This row, this front row looks like it might be actual 3D? Yeah, you can at least see this tower moving relative to the roof if I go sideways a little bit, so that's definitely still has depth. But that one behind it might already... no, there's still some movement in those chimneys. So yeah, my guess is, okay, so these rows are still real houses, probably just with a little less detail. Okay, I don't want to jump down there. This is really kind of nicely reminiscent of Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Is there a better way to get down here? to do to help my father what do I have to become huh that's an interesting challenge what do I have to do what do I have to become I have to say I'm a bit unhappy can I read of course I can read what, what does he think I'm stupid I know all my letters, and then some. Execute assassinations or non-lethal takedowns when dropping onto enemies. Lore maps. Maps. Hard times. That's the audiograph we heard. Where are the instructions? Hmm. I wanted to learn this. Shot 
Tutorial. Bone charms. Prevent minor supernatural benefits. Locate them by listening for the song they emit, or use the heart to detect them from further away. By default, you can activate up to five bone charms at once in the bone charms section. Okay, that's something we haven't done yet. Hmm. So where is it? Lore and maps. Lore. I guess I was too slow and didn't react. And it's saving. Let's see if I can just jump on him. Okay, I guess it for the watch uniform. Uh wait. Can I still loot him? No, I can't. You know what? Okay, I did that wrong. I'm I'm going to have safe scum day today. a little annoying when it doesn't actually let you read the tutorials. Can I? I guess it's the Q key. Uh, that worked. Wait. I wasn't able to get his uniform or what? Hmm. She she said something about getting his uniform. Did I mishear that? I guess we only get that when we kill him. I guess that'll have to do. Reach the boat. Escape Dunwall. Huh, it's interesting how they stabilized that house against the others. That looks very not good. The city is crawling with the Duke's men. Listen up, I have bad news. Ramsey's missing. Corporal Moore checked the royal quarters, and Emily Caldwin has apparently fled the tower. We've got to find her. That's it, you've got your orders. Spread out and find the fugitive. We're in this with the Duke of Circano sink or swim. There's no way to turn back now. Hmm. This looks a bit dangerous. I don't think I can hop on that. I hope they accept my transfer. I've got to get over to one of the other districts. The former Empress, Emily Caldwin, has been accused of high crimes against the state. Anyone caught harboring her is equally guilty of treason. What was that sound? Oh, okay, there's train cars here. I can wait. I guess we can jump down there. Hopefully. And 
then sneak past. I'm hungry. What the heck was that sound? Oh, there's a hatch. Okay, that sounded weird. Kind of dry. You really go for a whiskey or something? Maybe one of them two penny drinks. Stay ready. I want you in place just after the Duke and our new Empress make their appearance. Things will happen fast. Do your part. And there's a share of the spoils for you and the others. Turn on me now, and I'll ask the Duke to send his assassin after your dear old parents. Trust me, the so-called crown killer is the last dinner guest you want in your home. Oh. Bloody hell. We've got proof. Something stinks around here. Doesn't clean up <clears throat> huh <gasps> oh, no. <sighs> figures that he would have to look out play your way okay Detection isn't the end. Even after you are spotted by enemies, various options are available to you. Kill all the enemies in combat, defeat the enemies non-lethally, escape and stay out of sight until the enemies give up, searching for you, use powers, gadgets and trickery to creatively overcome the situation. Oops. Of course. Think you're me? Okay, I guess we're doing this. Damn it. Damn it, okay. I don't think I'm doing this. Um, there's a lot of tutorials it wants to give me now. But I guess we screwed this up. So we better... What's that sound? Ah, I guess these trains have a signal. I don't know which of these are actually ours, I guess. We'll just put all of them here. I'm not sure if this even helps anything, but, you know, at least it helps me. I'm also not quite sure. What to do? Oh, we can actually carry this head. Okay. That's not good. 
not very stealthy either. But hey, let's just pile them all up here. And see. These aren't mine. I wish I had my crossbow. That keyhole so doesn't look as if you could look through it. Okay, that's the guy that came out here, I guess. And we find some health. That's good. This empty metal crate? The heck? What would you keep an empty crate for? I mean, you know, you should give me stuff. There's some music here. I have a grenade, okay. Whatever that is good for, I guess. And I have copper wire? No idea. Captain Ramsey's orders. All City Watch personnel assigned to posts in the immediate vicinity around Dunwall Tower. On the anniversary tomorrow, we'll be receiving guests from across the Empire. Most are detailed in your itineraries, but there is an unlisted contingent from Karnaka. It's last minute, but important. None other than the Duke of the Sarkonos will be traveling with an entourage that includes VIP guests and some rather exotic equipment aimed at impressing our Empress. Let them pass and don't bother harassing them with the usual inspection nonsense on my orders. And if you spoil the surprise, I'll have your head. Disseminate this note to all squads. Ramsey. First officer, Nightwatch. All right. They really seem to want me to use more pistols. Hmm. What's over there? Can we go there? Excuse me, sirs. Lots of dead people here. Not sure if that's a good idea to explore here, but you know me. It's a whale singing. Yes, maybe it's that. Ooh, a fish. Right, we have health elixir, I guess. But I guess we'll keep that for a combat situation and for after I've looked up how to use them. Huh, this is interesting. Don't think I've seen this. It's interesting that it's kind of, again, like systems, you know, that certain decorative items in here are just oh so we could theoretically unlock this if we found out what the code is Dr. Galvani's journal second day month of earth 1852 month of earth 1852 I've lived in Dunwall most of my life, surviving even the dreaded Rat Plague 15 years ago. I remember people fighting and killing each other for a half-empty elixir flask. I dealt with housebreakers repeatedly back then and ultimately decided to sell my house at Clavering in favor of a more secure location. Surely I won't be disturbed anymore, living so close to Dunwall Tower itself. On some days I've even seen the Empress riding by in a carriage. Once already, I thought I spied 
the royal protector on a nearby rooftop watching a street altercation below. So I feel safer now. I have less space here, but should still be able to conduct my experiments without fearing the loss of any expensive lab equipment or the funding my work so dearly depends upon. Okay, what was he doing? Huh. Weird animal? Basted or something? The obtuse arguments of Lady Boyle. 451. Ah, that sounds good. Uh, two, three, four, five, one. Ha! Huh. Silver. And a pistol with ammo. Thanks. <laughs> cool. Okay. That's a little weird way, weird place to keep your secret code. So I guess everyone here got killed during the revolution. I wonder what those poles are for, if that was like the firing range? Hmm. Alright. Let's explorify some more. Stand clear, Dunwall City Watch. Wanted. Ghastly murderers. Several prominent citizens killed in the most gruesome way. Hooded suspects still at large. For rent. Oh. More health elixir. Restricted by order of the city watch. No citizens allowed. Lethal force has been authorized. Okay, there's a guard over there. Let's see what this place is. Just someone's apartment. So maybe we can sneak past you here? Let's just have a quick trip around back. See if there's anything here. Doesn't look like it. You can tell that this game is a little more about story and a little less about gameplay design by the simple reason that like in these corners they don't give you extra items like every item you find here it, it seems to be I, I guess the game has no crafting Dunwall Docks ship launch preparation. Hey, that's the same painting we had. All right. What's this? Launching the ISS Jessamine Caldwin. Ooh. Okay, but there's an audiograph in there that would probably be interesting to hear. The question is, how do I get you? Did 
that attract him? Doesn't look like it. Not sure I can sneak up on him. If I need to... If I need to open the door to get in. Well, I guess we can try it. Didn't even notice we opened the door. <laughs> okay, I guess they're all looting everything here. What else? Umberwood fish statue. Tillian Peach. Kiela, sorry you missed us. I'll be taking the children away from Dunwall earlier than expected. A few weeks before the upcoming anniversary of Empress Jessamine's death. Things are about to get bad, and I'm not just talking about the crown killer. Besides, there's profit to be made bringing new silver miners down south. So arrangements must be made. Ta for now. Hmm. So she knew? Interesting. So did they hide out somewhere here? Or what? Whose house is this? But, um, it's a pity that there's no, like... Uh, like that we can't go through this door and maybe go upstairs. Hmm. But you know, since you said uh, it's whale singing, I now have uh, Dory in my head speaking whale language. Hello? Attention, citizens. Can you hear me? Oops. All hail Delilah, first of her name. Further, the former Empress, Emily Caldwin, is now wanted for treason. Any of you found harboring Emily Caldwin will be fined and arrested. People of Dunwall, stay in your homes. You're advised to stay indoors during this time of unrest. Such a neutral way. Oops. Is he... Alright, I can peek over something, can't I? Oh no. That's Emily Caldwin. What? No. no. You killed your friend. That's not good. No. Citizen. Whoa. Listen up. For the sake of your family, turn over all information oh. concerning Oh, that didn't work out. All right. Start from last checkpoint, I guess. Which hopefully wasn't too far away. It's a way singing. Something like that. Let's see where it put us. Oh, okay. So I guess we pick up all that stuff again. 
think we've played you. Kiela, sorry you missed us. I'll be taking the children away from Dunwall earlier than expected. A few weeks before the upcoming anniversary of Empress Jessamine's death. Things are about to get bad, and I'm not just talking about the crown killer. Besides, there's profit to be made bringing new silver miners down south. So arrangements must be made. Ta for now. I wonder, is there any place... Somehow I don't remember at all how I got past here. I wonder if I can get on these electric things or if that will kill me. get up here maybe from here no not even sure if I can get back up doesn't look like it huh but I think one thing I'll look up These seem a little pointy and not like something I'm supposed to get up on. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Attention, Dunwall citizens. As of today, Delilah Caldwin is our new empress. All hail Delilah. First of her name, further, the former Empress Emily Caldwin is now wanted oh. for treason. That looks Any good. Any of you found harboring Emily Caldwin will be fined and arrested. People of Dunwall, stay in your homes. You're advised to stay indoors during this time of unrest. Okay. Sock. Sure, he knows how to with the boss. Huh. This path is blocked. I Something to accept my tricks for here. I've got to get over to my the other districts. Up. Something feels wrong. Hmm, oh, somebody spotted me there. He says keep alert, and I says I am alert. I've been alert. And he says yeah, but this time I really mean it. Isn't it laundry day yet? Gotta be soon. Maybe this way? Hmm. Alright, I don't think he'll do anything. I guess it's a house. And it looks like there's not much where we can go up. Let's see. Exit. Yeah, that thing is blocked. Huh? <coughs> oh god, that was close. Oh. I guess it 
it's that time of the day where the green screen is reflecting again. I, I know why they chose to make um, the guards mumble to themselves. But it's um, really weird, some of the things, you know, like rumble, rumble. This shirt reeks is one of the better ones, actually. Ooh, what's this? That's, oops. Almost the wrong button. Dreams of the Void. Okay, so I guess this is what we're supposed to expect the void to look like. Kind of weird, abstract, maybe even organic, damaged buildings. There's nothing in here. How am I supposed to loot properly? If you don't leave me any loot. Seriously. Citizens of Dunwall, listen up. For the sake of your family, turn over all information concerning Emily Caldwin and Corvo Atano. Okay, that this is where we reason. could go through, it seems. Some more health. Apartment in Karnaka midday. Everyone has the same painting. Seriously. Are they really mass producing all their paintings? Ah, oh, that's the Zirconian legend again. I wonder, you know what, since we're here and there is an upstairs of some sort, let's risk it and head up there. We might have to choke someone out. If he's still here. <coughs> Edition. Oh. Empress Delilah Caldwin, rightful heir to the throne, has taken power in Dunwall. The usurper Emily Atano and the murderous royal protector have been arrested. Get out of here. You have until tomorrow to listen to your rubbish. Don't make a pig's ear of this printer. I'm the one who gave you the scoop on the crown killer. Half of which couldn't be verified. I must have been rat ass out of my mind to use that name. There's no proof that the murderer has any connection to the crown. Well, it made a good story. It served a purpose. Whatever's going on, this coup, it won't last. The people of Gristol are loyal to the Empress, and I'm gonna publish an essay every day for a month to make sure they remember it. The people of Gristol have a new Empress, and in the morning, they'll have to find a new printer, too. Only adult would threaten the man who runs a newspaper. Time to put you out of business, printer. Help! Someone help! Huh? That's 
Oh, I wasn't fast enough. Traitorous dog. Can we do this again? No. I guess I don't. Dunwell Citizens express shock and fear as yet another outspoken critic of Empress Emily Caldwin has met with a violent demise. The latest victim is none other than Ichabod Boyle. I think we saw that already. Okay, and he just has all of those. Reward 15,000 coins. Watch for anything unusual, especially take note of violent outbursts. You know what? I'm... I think I'm going to go back up here. I'm, I'm going to save Sp Scum again. Because I just want to know if it's possible to catch him. It's the boardroom from Control. The the void, you mean? <laughs> I could see that. So let's see. All right. Now, of course, I'll be in a hurry again. We'll be running right into him. Because that's how I work. Special edition. Empress Delilah Caldwin, rightful heir to the throne, has taken power in Dunwall. The usurper Emily Atano and the murderous royal protector have been arrested. Get out of here. You have until tomorrow to print it. I never should have listened to your rubbish. Don't make a pig's ear of this printer. I'm the one who gave you the scoop on the crown killer. Half of which couldn't be verified. I must have been rat ass out of my mind to use that name. There's no proof that the murderer has any connection to the crown. Well, it made a good story. Served a purpose. Whatever's going on, this coup, it won't last. The people of Gristol are loyal to the Empress, and I'm gonna publish an essay every day for a month to make sure they remember it. The people of Gristol have a new Empress, and in the morning, they'll have to find a new printer, too. Only a dolt would threaten the man who runs a newspaper. Time to put you out of business, printer. No, no, no. You're not fit for the watch uniform. Hello. Hi. I saved you. Aren't you happy? I guess not. What did I get from him? I don't know. But at least the printer is still alive. Ooh. There's a balcony. We got to get over there, so let's see. That seems like it might have helped us a little. I kind of like how she holds the knife sideways like that. And I also should probably not bend over as much. Because I'm just seeing that I've been <laughs> peeking my nose over there. But uh, yeah, that sideways knife. Interesting. that too steep? Is there a better place to land? I don't see anything. Well, here goes nothing. Oh. I actually didn't get hurt. Looking good. 
me save the reporter. I don't know what that is. That whale oil. Road is blocked by order of the city watch. Blocked? What am I supposed to do now? Not my concern, citizen. I'd advise you to return to your home. If I can't get through, that's it for my shop. The entire month will be ruined. Trust me, you don't want to be out on the streets right now. Move along. All right. So I could jump down there. I don't think I can climb up there. Let's see if there's some sneaky way. Maybe we can now go past him. Pay what you owe. Front yard, please. Uh. Oops. <sighs> Don't come towards me, please. Uh. Hmm? Why are you turned in my direction? Can't you walk? Okay, you're walking back. People of Dunwall. That looks good. Uh oh. The fugitive is now punishable by death. Someone is asking for trouble. Aid the there. city watch in this time. Ah! Oh, 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 no! oh damn it! I screwed it up again. <laughs> oh, okay. That was actually. Come on, let's finish this. That's Emily Caldwin. Take it. All right, not quite what I wanted to do. <laughs> so much for my stealth thing. And uh, the next guy coming by will be very unhappy. I swear I saw someone. I'm pretty sure of it. What was that? I wonder what I'm dealing with. I saw All right. you. No use hiding. Oh. Someone down there. No, I'm sure. Hello? Anybody? Oh, don't let me search Damn the it. place. I don't have time for that. <clears throat> I'm not in the mood. Show yourself. <sighs> Shit. Keep your eyes peeled. Come on. Won't hurt you. <laughs> Where's the last one? Oh, there. Okay. I'll find you, you know. <sighs> it's no use. Next time. Corporal Blevins, I won't tolerate any more questions. Send all boats away from the docks. Tell them it's for the anniversary of the death of our beloved and Pris Jessamine. Threaten to seize their wet vessels. I don't care. Just clear the docks. And according to the morning patrol, there was a woman here earlier who refused to leave. She captains the terrible whale, or the dreadful whale, or some other rubbish. She was asking for an audience with the royal protector. If you see her, I want her arrested immediately. You have your orders, Blevins, and trust me, you don't want to make trouble right now. Ramsay. Okay. Captain Ramsay's been so industrious, but I need a ship. Think you're smart? I'll find you! Oh, be damned! Where are you hiding? Shh! 
Show yourself and state your name. My name is Boo. All right. Okay, two more over there. Not two more, two more. And I guess somehow I have to get over there. Wait, wasn't I able to swim? I wish I had a crossbow instead of guns. Warning, corrosive whale oil. It's corrosive as well, that doesn't sound very healthy. Okay, doesn't look like there's anything useful there. So I guess we'll see if we can go for a swim. And before we try out how to do a swim... We save... Yeah, that looks good. I hope they don't see us. Oh. I forgot the breathing... thing. Is there any chance I could slip past all these uniformed assholes and get into the tower myself? Do I still have it left in me? Lady! You want to hear what I've got to say. I guarantee it. Whoop. Lady Emily, you won't get far with that face. Stamped on half the coins in the city. There's a coup underway and I'm being blamed for the Crown Killer murders. I don't care what my face looks like. My name's Megan Foster. I work with an old ally of yours. Anton Sokolov. We learned something scary down in the south. And I came to warn you. I know, Anton, but Corvo's gone. The Duke of Sirkonos is here with a woman named Delilah. They massacred everyone in the throne room. Then she did something I can't explain. There was nothing to do but run. Sometimes that's all you can do. This is my ship, the Dreadful Whale. We can head out as soon as you're ready. I need to get to Karnaka where the Crown Killer murders started. Delilah must have been down there for a while and I've got to figure out what's going on. You're Corvo's daughter. I'll give you that. Should we go? Uh, let's look around a little moment. Soon, but not just yet. Sokolov always speaks highly of you and your father. Like you're all close. Alright, let's look around a little bit. We should get out of here while we can. What do shall we do with the drunken whaler? What shall we do with the drunken whaler? Someone seems to be really in love with their directional audio engine. things as well. Okay, I guess they're really just for stuff that you don't want bouncing around and that may be wet and so you can't put it in a box proper. Ooh. Mo 
motorboat. Nice. Also locked. Okay, so I guess there's not much we can see here. You ready? Yet? I guess I'm ready. Let's set out for Karnaka. I guess that will have to do for the light. Okay. A long day in Dunwald. Mission 1 complete. 2 hours, 9 minutes, 33 seconds. Lethality. Civilians killed 0. Hostiles killed 11. Total killed 11. Merciful didn't kill anyone. Nope. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. Alarms rang 0. Bodies detected 12. Detections 10. Ghostly, never detected. Nope. I'm so tempted to try to go back and, you know, get that. It's it's mean when you put summaries like that in front of a player and go like, yeah, you know, you didn't. So we're lethal assault. Not non-lethal and stealth right now. Found no runes, no outsider shrines, no bone charms. Found 956 of 1490 coins. So a good 500 coins are missing. Found both paintings and found no blueprints. Special actions. Took what gold you could carry from the Dunwall Tower safe room emergency reserves. Robbed the safe of Dr. Galvani, a natural philosopher from the time of the Red Plague. I guess that was robbing, yeah. Locked Mortimer Ramsey in the safe room with a fortune in gold and a month's worth of food and water. All right, here goes nothing. Two, a strange visit. Something feels off. Find out what is going on. Sprint to elude enemies or build up speed for jumps. Am I still aboard Megan's ship? It feels odd. Door is whoops. What is this place? Where am I? Huh. That is a bit weird. Make your way through the void. Ooh, look. Where's the red pyramid? Or is it black? It's a black pyramid, right? Black upside down pyramid. That's what we need. I don't see one. So I guess this is not from the, not the same as control. I can feel something moving closer. Watching. Somehow she feels too close to the floor. I wonder if that's my if that's an issue with the game. Oh. Empress Emily Caldwin. I'm a friend of your father's from the bad old days. I never expected us to meet. I watched your mother die at the hands of schemers who wanted your little empire. Then you were rescued by a killer in a strange mask. I thought that was the end of the excitement. But 
Delilah and the Duke are flies in the ointment, aren't they? How many of your own subjects are you ready to slaughter? And what are you willing to become? Whoa, that whale. Fifteen years ago, I asked Corvo that last question. This is the moment that changed him. Now it's your turn, Emily. Receive the mark of the outsider, accept the outsider's mark, or reject the offer. No powers moon. This is a little weird and abrupt. I would have loved that if he... I guess they assume you've played the previous game. Um... At least it says no powers mode, so I know that this is difficult then. Um, but it would still be useful, you know, if they would put a, just a little bit of exposition in here for those people who haven't played the entire game. The previous one. I guess we accepted. It burns. From the inside, I feel like I'm standing at the edge of something. All the stories, they're true. Tutorial, far reach. Press right mouse to rapidly pull yourself toward the targeted surface. Primarily a means of locomotion, far reach is also useful for avoiding enemies. Aim the power at the ground or a structure in front of you to pull yourself forward rapidly, or cast it at overhead ledges to pull yourself upward. Far reach can be used to move through glass, breaking it. If the power is used in stealth mode, your movement ends without f further forward momentum. The mana cost for using the power is low, so the recharging portion of the mana bar will allow you to far reach even when you have no elixirs. Upgrading this power changes some of its basic functionality. Decelerate. If you are fa falling, time is slowed as you aim far reach. Pull objects. Pull objects towards you and catch them in mid-air. Pull enemies. Pull enemies toward you and kill or incapacit incapacitate them in mid-air. All right. Okay, so right mouse. Ooh, nice. Incredible. Cancel far reach with F. Okay. This is how I'm going to save my father and reclaim the throne. Ha! Huh. That's that's a clever trick to give her that thought and then give this place this statue of how he was turned to stone. Okay, it instantly recharges for now. Usually the blue bar is the mana bar, so that should, um, you know, go less and we would have to wait for recharges. Who is that? Is that a painter? Who was, like, strung up on an easel? What is this? Dude, what the heck? What's the furniture in your place look like here? Reach the platform. Oh, I guess we're headed up. Corvo mentioned being here once. The heart. Know you. Do you remember? It's been so long, and you've been through so much. Even as an echo of myself, 
It's good to know you're there. Mother? You're here, but you're not here. In my hand, but somewhere else. Only the last of my essence with you for a while. If only I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. But I have this to offer. My gift and my curse. Summon me to your hand, and I will guide you when I can. The heart. Equipping the heart in your left hand helps you locate born charms or runes. The heart will begin to beat and glow when you are facing a bone charm or rune, and will beat faster as you get closer. The heart will whisper secrets if you press the right mouse button at particular locations or while looking at a person. All right. Runes. All right. There are no stars in the sky here. There is no sky. Huh. Good point. Feels like I should save here just before I do something stupid or whatever. Other oh, wait. What happens if I run off here? Oh, okay. I just appear back. Or was that. That was where I saved last, right? Is Delilah really? How could she? I don't understand. In thousands of years, few have seen this place. Three were empresses. Hmm. Three empresses. So the question is, is that Emily, Jessamine, and now Delilah? Or is it some other place? What's this? Delilah slid a man's throat for a pair of shoes and painted some of the most brilliant portraits of the age all in the same year. Survival and ambition, art and magic, with a cunning that makes sycophants of those around her. All of it leading to what you saw at Dunwall Tower. Delilah's playing the long game, and now she's an empress. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. Wait, what? Was that when all? When I was ten years old, bored with my lessons, I dreamed about sword fighting and sailing the ocean. Now I'm realizing that the world is more off-kilter than I imagined. Everything has been turned inside out, but I'm not gonna stop fighting until it makes sense again. Karnaka's the southernmost port in the Empire, once proud but fallen into disarray. Under the new Duke, the Grand Sirkonan Guard has gotten increasingly oppressive. Beatings and firing squads. The blood flies are said to be worse than ever. 
This is the birthplace of my father. Megan Foster keeps to herself, like she's hiding something. But she helped me escape Dunwall, and for now, I need a place to stay out of sight. Delilah and the Duke made me look like a murderer, using the crown killer to butcher my political adversaries. They took what was mine, and I'm gonna get it back, even if I have to burn this city to the ground. Does this have a VR mode? Um, not that I know, but I haven't really checked either. I mean, I guess it, you know, wouldn't be too hard to retrofit. Whip bone charms. Okay, so... Upgrade your gear at the black market shops to unlock more slots. Oh, duelists luck. Bullet packs have a slight chance of containing plus one pistol bullet. Okay. Void favor. Sometimes supernatural powers consume no mana. Okay, I guess that's a good start. So I guess that's how we upgrade skills. And I guess we can't craft bones from bone charms. Findings. Order to clear the docks. Yeah, okay, that's all the stuff we read. Audiographs. Yeah. Dr. Galvani's journal. Travel log. Ah. Ah, oh, edge of the world. Dishonored. My father is lost, turned to stone by Delilah. Those words don't even seem real. Witchcraft, something I never would have believed possible. But now I have to believe in it, so I can believe that it can be undone. Delilah claims to be my aunt, the rightful heir. Truth or lies? All I know is that she used magic to take my throne. Aided by that weasel, Duke Abel. They must have been working on their plan for years, buying disloyalty with promises. Even Ramsay, captain of the City Watch, planting in everyone's mind the idea that my father and I could be responsible for those monstrous killings, that one or both of us were the crown killer. I'm not in a trusting mood, but Megan Foster says she knows Anton Sokolov, our old royal physician, and she helped me escape the coup. So she's all I have right now. We're sailing for Serkonos. My dun wall, my home, is no longer safe for me. But I never really was safe. I never really will be. The sooner I get that through my skull, the better. I wonder if, um, you know, I could have gone up that way and found something else and then gone down to the bone charms. I don't remember what I originally did. Twelfth. Well, it was pure luck, but I managed to get myself passage to Marley above aboard a decent ship. The dreadful whale, it's called. Is that a mistake? Shouldn't it be... The dreadful whale, like the sea beast? I didn't want to risk pointing something like that out to the captain, that foster lady. She looks like the sort to dump a disagreeable passenger overboard without a second thought. Fourteenth. Goodbye, Karnaka, I won't miss you. Times are getting bad here. I don't know what's more unbearable. Breathing mine dust all day long breathing mine dust all day long, or hearing the constant ramblings of Duke Luca Abel over the street speakers. Every bar I played in, some drunk asked me to sing a song, either making the Duke sound like a hero of the people, or the opposite, the worst villain in a generation. I got sick of it pretty fast. It will take a few weeks to get to Morley, 
give or take some days, depending on the currents and winds. But I appreciate the company of Captain Foster and the other passenger, a Tivian scholar, I think. I try to help out around the boat as much as I can, cooking, cleaning, and repairing stuff, playing the guitar for them at night. I hope they don't throw me to the sharks when they find out I'm dirt broke. I won't be able to pay my fare when we reach Morley. 19th. Morley and food seems to suit Captain Foster. She likes the way I use lots of sugar and toss a shot of whiskey into all my recipes, even if she groused at the end of the week for how many of the supplies I'd gone through. 24th. Spent the night on the deck with Megan and Anton, though he slept in a chair nearby, wrapped in a goat hair blanket that looks like it hasn't been washed since it was on the goat's back. I played the guitar while Megan and I drank rum and whiskey, singing sad old Sir Conan ballads and giving silly names to the stars. She even hummed along with me when she got drunk enough, but mostly preferred just to listen. Said I have the same voice as someone she knew once a long while back. Off and on I hear her playing the same old audiograph in her cabin, making me wonder if that's who she was talking about. Maybe I'm feeling jealous. 28th. What a fool I am, trying to kiss Megan down in the engine room. She didn't even yell, just smiled a sad smile, like you would at a child who still believes in night spirits. Tomorrow we'll reach Morley, and then I'll disappear as quietly as I can. I've decided to leave her my Sir Conan guitar as a souvenir, and the only payment I can afford. I hope she'll forgive me, and that she'll find whoever she's looking for. Hmm. Travel log. We can actually write it. Ah, oh, okay, there's just access to the travel log. Oh. The Void. This time it wasn't a dream. I've read about the Void and the Outsider, imagined them. Now I've seen those wonders for myself. Strange doesn't begin to cover it. The Outsider has terrible eyes. Black on black. He offered me something. I know these gifts come with a price, but how could I refuse? This power might give me the edge I need to defeat Delilah and Duke Abel. I'll worry about paying the cost later. And what price will I pay for his other gift? My mother's beloved voice, trapped in the strangest contraption. It is both comforting, comforting and chilling to be able to talk to her again. And yet, it's not entirely the person I knew anymore. This thing, this heart, it's there and not there. I have to focus in a new way to even see it. We've arrived at the southernmost tip of the empire. Strange fragrances all around. Salt, fish, spice. I don't know how to blend in here. I don't know what to eat or where to go. But this is where my father was born. So part of me belongs here too. And these are my people. Or they were until my throne was stolen by Delilah. I'm coming for you, Delilah, with my new powers. All I need now is a plan. Okay, we have the musician's farewell. Letter from Emily. Wyman, by now you must have heard about the coup in Dunwall. Don't worry, I'm safe, hiding far away with friends. I implore you, don't try anything reckless and don't go back to Gristle. Stay in Morley. There's nothing you can do against Delilah. I can't say I have a solid plan yet, but you know how well I improvise in desperate situations. Remember the time I kept a straight face during the watch officer's report, all the while sitting at my desk without pants? If I survived that, I'll get through all this. For now, I need to stay hidden and act alone. Trust me, we'll see each other again. I promise. Alright. 
limited resources. It's not what you're used to, living in a palace. But this is all the coin I could scrape up. Anton and I operated on a tight budget, and guess what? Now you do too. If it's not beneath you, pick up whatever valuables you find along your way. We'll need ammo and resources to take down the people behind the coup. Hidden all over the city, there are underground black market shops. Look for a symbol depicting two hands, which means there's a shop nearby. Follow the signs, they'll guide you. Buying from the black market is against the law. But it could make the difference against the Duke's military. Sokolov was working on his crossbow as a gift for you. If you need it modified, those shops can help with that as well. Oh wow, that looks nice. And finally, I have a crossbow. This was once my world. All things from the northernmost shores to here, Karnaka in the south. This city is a place of riches, but not all get a seat at the banquet table. More innocent blood still? It doesn't have to be like this. We both know it. Okay, that's my crossbow. And that's the gun. Okay, and that's a grenade. And that's far reach. Alright. Door is blocked. Is there a screwdriver and why can't I pick it up? Oh, but there seems to be like a hatch or a window. Okay. Maintenance list. Repair the things that got busted up in Anton's room when he was taken. It's been weeks now. No, scratch that. Not until I bring him back home. As a show of faith that he will be coming back. Unblock the storage door. Looks like something fell on the other side, and I really need to sell the stuff locked up in there to make some coin. Pay the port tax and the look-the-other-way fees to those grand guard bastards before they wonder who my passenger is this time. I'll do it when I get the money. Okay. Must be cursed. Daft old man. This is some shit. Back to that city. What would we have done in the old days? All sharp metal and shadows, we'd say. A rune. Trying to fix the secondary engine. Anton, your idea of improving the head gasket ceiling with a guano coating is the worst you ever had. I'll make you sleep in the engine room if you don't fix your mess by tomorrow. Megan, if all inventors were as delicate and short-tempered as you are, you and I would still be paddling around in carved-out logs. Megan, I made some mulberry cake. It's my own recipe, improved by TV and spices. I left it in the galley. Anton, where are you, old fool? I hope nobody hurt you. I'll find you, I swear. I miss you. Alright. Crossbow bolts. Yay. I'm always here for a crossbow bolt. It's my favorite cereal. No, wait. Almost. I guess that's the head. So what is it like outside the boat? Far 
reach. Oh, what a nice view. The jewel of the south. My father's birthplace. Oh, right now I don't see the heart anymore. Uh, uh, the... I can just jump overboard. Let's see. Oh, yeah, looks like it. Anything else here? Oh, uh oh. We don't breathe that long, apparently. How do I get back on the boat? I guess this works. Is there any way? Whoops. open there. Okay. Um, yeah. Ah. I guess we can't. Incendiary bolts. A reflection on my journey to the Pandisian continent. By Anton Sokolov, Chapter 15. At dawn, I set out with the group that forge, foraged east. Foraged? Isn't it usually forged and forage is collecting food? Hmm. Um, and included two other natural philosophers and four crewmen. We used blades to clear the vegetation that grew thickly there and slowly made our way away from the shore up a steep incline. Our purpose was to gather samples of the native plants for our research journals. I found myself pressing leaves and stems between pages and taking copious notes on several species of flora I surmised no human had ever set eyes on previously, when suddenly young Mr. Gravit from the academy began hopping about and screaming wildly. Chance had bade him pick up an unfortunate place to step. Had made him pick an unfortunate place to step. Aggressive ant-like creatures swarmed him from below. So many in number were his tiny attackers that we quickly lost sight of him under their onslaught. We finally managed to pull Gravid from the insects, acquiring several painful welts where we had come to his aid. Mr. Gravid, however, was bitten, or stung, as I would eventually discover, so many times he was barely recognizable, swollen onto deformity, over every inch of his person, moaning like a sick bull, he expired before we could carry him back to the beach. Luckily, some of the creatures still clung to him, providing me with precious samples. Um, sir, sir, your friend just got stung. Seriously.
I'm just assuming he's trying to find the positive in anything. Alright. Anything else we haven't done? Locate a black market shop. I guess we'll do that in town. So I guess we'll be talking to Megan now. Or Megan, I don't know. Anatomia. Corporis Humani. Okay. The, the anatomy of the human body. I guess Sokolov left stuff lying around and she put it in these holders so it wouldn't be in the way. You're up. When you're ready to talk, I'll tell you what I know. Um, is this... Yeah, still Ichabod Boil. Okay, never mind. We've been en route for two weeks. I hope Sokolov is all right. Wherever he is. The Shindere Gift, a study by Imora Clipswitch. On the effect of the winds on the Karnakan landmass and resulting economic positions. Whale oil, liquid power. How astonishing that within those beasts inside the oil harvested along with their flesh was enough power to see the isles through these tumultuous years. And it all seemed limitless, but now the lights begin to dim. Our fisherfolk say the great beasts are increasingly rare. Not all places will suffer this loss equally. Fellow natural philosophers, Karnaka has a unique feature, the cleft in Shindere Peak, through which the winds are channeled and amplified. As whale oil begins to run short, with the cost of finding the remaining leviathans escalating beyond the worth of the oil itself, Karnaka will find itself ascendant upon the isles. Okay, so they have wind generators. And that's... Um, sorry. Okay, better. <laughs> it's always so weird how limited your interactions are in games like these. Oh. Zirconum plantains. Oh yeah, wasn't plantain an old word for banana? All right, our health is full as well. Lots of empty bottles in here. Anything Karnaka else? Karnaka looks pretty from a distance, but it's a city on the way down. And the blood flies are bad this year. So I guess there are mosquitoes or something? Map. It looks like the overland route to the Adermeyer Institute goes through the carriage station. Is the crown killer hiding in Adermeyer? Okay, so I guess we have to take a train? A carriage? Adermeyer Solution, created by Dr. Alexandria Hypatia, alchemist of renown at the Adermeyer Institute of Infectious Disease. Derived from rare and exotic ingredients, including blood fly venom itself. Jesus! That's a big fly wings. Protect yourself and those entrusted to your care with Adermeyer solution. Why was Sokolov abducted and not killed? So the crown killer was a tool of the Duke's coup. The murders had a calculated effect. Delilah portrait. Why is this here? It's Delilah. Anton started it just before he was taken. They've got history. 
that he wouldn't say more. Huh. Can we maybe, you know, turn it backwards or something? Crossbow bolts. Always appreciated. Okay. Guess that just makes noise. What the heck? By Anton Sokolov, a reflection on my journey to the Dendysian continent. A colleague of mine owns a stunning map of the known world, adorned with curlicues and sea beasts. It has a cherished spot over her mantle. She paid handsomely for it, and was so bristled when I enumerated the various errors. Chief among them, of course, the size and placement of the Pendician continent. Oh, how cartographers are loath to show how small and distant our empire really is compared to that giant landmass, as if Pendicia were but a few days' journey from Iran. Every veteran ship captain knows that it takes months to reach those shores. I had no doubt that Pendicia was rich in resources, but a place must be understood if we ever hope to exploit its myriad treasures. These were my thoughts as I agreed to join the ill-fated expedition. And so it was on the third day of the month of Earth, under calm grey skies, the great sea vessel Antonia Aquilo set sail with captain, crew, researchers, and myself. Thirty-eight of us total, for what would be the most terrifying and spiritually draining experience of my life. Sokolov's notes, blood flight study. Are these blood flies? I've wondered whether I have another book in me. The blood fly epidemic, coupled with basic information on life cycle and behavior, might make an excellent project for this old natural philosopher. Blood flies are exotic insects. Unlike anything else found in Circonos, I suspect they originated on the Pendician continent. In groups of three or fewer, they are harmless. Individuals won't attack, leading me to speculate that each emits a scent that has a collective effect. effect. Okay. Sorry. Light. I might just have to get up and turn on some other light. <laughs> Right now, that would be a little awkward. And we only have about five minutes, so I was kind of hoping I couldn't get away without it. Um, blood flies are attracted to rapid movement and sound. Their nests can be broken apart, scattering the swarm. And in particular, the nests are quite susceptible to fire. I guess we'll need that knowledge. The insects require fresh corpses to lay their eggs, which hatch in a breathtaking fashion after a very short time. More corpses in a Zirconian, Zirconian city, say during a crisis or plague, mean more blood flies. Interestingly, in the last part of a blood fly's life cycle, they calm a great deal, leaving the swarm they molt, causing the wings to drop off. Afterward, each blood fly lives a solitary existence. Very odd. Bloodflies are largely restricted to the south, preferring warmer climates, like certain aging natural philosophers. <laughs> Jeez. Why would you call those things flies? There's a size of birds. Must I say, your Imperial Majesty? I have something that you and Corvo must hear at the first opportunity. It concerns the murders happening across the Empire, committed by this so-called Crown Killer. When I left Crystal years ago, I swore I'd never again take part in any further political matters. I've done my share of bad things, and some good. 
before and after the Red Plague. But here in Karnaka, I've uncovered a terrible conspiracy against you. Here, at the bottom of the Empire, the cobblestones smell of death and corruption. I'm staying with an associate, Megan Foster, aboard her vessel, the Dreadful Whale. We'll leave for Dunwall in the morning, as soon as the tides are willing. I keep thinking of the way sweet Jessamine was stolen from you and your father, and I fear it might be your turn to face such turmoil. I know Corvo would protect you with his life, but please do not trust anyone. There you are, old man. I was asked to pay you a visit. Wait, what's wrong with you? Megan! <clears throat> Off we go, Sokolov, to somewhere more private. Was that a Megan? Or whose voice? I think he called to Megan for help, right? Not, not saying that Megan attacked him. Why can't an old man enjoy his last years in a warmer climate, with good wines and spicy foods, without stumbling into another nest of aristocratic... of... without stumbling into another nest of aristocratic vipers? <clears throat> Eager to coil around the heart of his empire. Of this empire. As I've learned more each week for months now, I found my mind turning turning over the moment the movements beneath the surface here in Karnaka, Duke Luca Abel and some inner circles that even seems to include Captain Mortimer Ramsey of the Dunwall City Watch, a betrayal that boggles the mind. How many others are involved? They aim their venom at our dear Empress, young Emily, that much is certain. But when will they strike, and how? Do I dare spend another month gathering stray bits of esoteric information, linking it together with what we already know? Can we even afford another week? Or should Megan and I set out for Gristle tonight, taking this leaky tub up through the canal? Corvo will not hesitate. He will act as soon as I hand over what I know, and if I'm too hasty, it might be his undoing. Coming home to his native Serkonos without some critical piece of knowledge about this affair. And then there's the crown killer to worry about. If that fiend is part of Duke Abel's schemes, as I suspect, how long until the dreadful whale catches the Duke's eye? I'll always miss my lessons with Anton Sokolov. He made so many clever devices during my mother's time. All right, I guess now we'll find out what all of this is about. Plantain is a non-sweet banana, I think. Okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. You've explained part of it. But what were you and Sokolov doing here? The old man loved Karnaka. But he'd caught wind of a conspiracy tied to the crown killer. He wanted to warn Corvo. There are reports about tensions rising. Corruption. Street violence. I... didn't give it much mind. Usually the local authorities resolve that sort of thing. <sighs> the new Duke has let things slide. But Sokolov concluded he might be the head of the conspiracy. He came in looking shocked, and if you've heard his after-dinner stories, you know that's unusual. We were going to set out for Dunwall, but something happened. The Crown Killer. Yes, the hatch ripped open and Sokolov screamed. All I caught was a glimpse of someone carrying him across the deck. I followed as long as I could, toward Adermeyer Institute. It's run by the alchemist Hypatia. Maybe the Duke is using a patient of hers. The Crown Killer. Adermeyer, all right. I'll get inside. The Crown Killer has to be eliminated, and if the Alchemist will cooperate, maybe I can learn something about what happened to Sokolov. Wish me luck. If you need my luck, Sokolov's as good as dead. <laughs> when you get done at the Institute, disable the Watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring the boat around. 
We'll take the skiff to the shore when you're ready. This Dr. Hypatia... She seems to represent the good that's possible within the Empire. Adamias, Dr. Hypatia says no one should perish in the mines. We've read the Crown Killer article. What was Mortimer Ramsey doing in Kanaka? Mortimer Ramsey. The Duke couldn't have pulled off the coup without someone inside the City Watch. I don't know Duke Luca Abel, but Corvo served under Luca's father and said Theodanus was a good man. Delilah. My aunt, if that's really true. She has a twisted way of looking at the world. All right. And I think this is where we will end it. Jesus. Oh, I guess that hatch was what opened? Huh. Alright. So I guess... The next place we'll be going to will be Kanaka. Anyway, thank you for watching, listening, and uh, I hope uh, you've enjoyed it so far. And um, yeah, we will have a new stream next week. As I said, current game is no longer Trüberbruck. Uh, we're on to the next game now, um, which is Dishonored 2. Um, see you next week again, 5 p.m. Central European Summertime, or 8 a.m. Um, in uh, PDT. Um, so... See you then, have a great week, and uh, I'm looking forward to going further into this story. I I barely remember anything from my previous playthrough, like about the world and details, and so refreshing that now uh, is really nice that it's coming back. So thank you, goodbye, see you.